Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to compare four different types of heated beds and show you how easy or hard to remove the objects from the surface of them when the prints are done. Here are our compared four different types of heated bed surfaces. A painter's tape, 3mm thick glass plate, sticker plate and the recently released ultra base. For each surface type I have 3D printed the same half sphere shape which is hard to grasp with the same cura settings and I try to remove them when heated beds are cooled down to 30 celsius degree. The yellow one was printed on top of a painter's tape, the grey one was printed on top of a sticker plate, the blue one was printed on top of a ultra base and the white one was printed on top of the glass plate. Let's see how much effort I put down to remove these objects from the surfaces. Right now our 3D printer Anycubic Iter Mega just finished 3D printing this half sphere object which is hard to grasp and I am going to try to remove it from this type of heated bed which is a sticker type heated bed it comes with the older version of Anycubic i3 Mega and I'm going to try to remove it when the temperature of this heated bed cools down to 30 celsius degree and we will together see how hard or easy to remove this object which is hard to grasp from this type of the heated bed our waiting process is over, our heated bed just cooled down to 30 celsius degree and let us try to remove this object first by hand so I will try to remove it by hand try to put my finger try to put my nails in and it's not working and it is not easy to remove this object with my hand right now I am holding the heat plate and I'm going to force it no, no use. It's not gonna work with my hand. Right now I'm going to use a tool to remove it. Okay. No. Come on. Okay. I removed it with a tool, but the edge of the tool has to go underneath it somehow but while we are doing it we are just kind of damaging the product as well right now let's see how other heated beds are gonna perform with the same settings and how hard or easy to remove the objects from them right now our 3d printer anet a8 has just finished 3d printing this half square on top of a glass surface i'm using 3 millimeter thick glass surface on top of its aluminum plate and we used again the same settings with the other experiments and I am right now waiting for heated bed temperature to cool down to 30 celsius degree and then I will try to remove it first with my hand and then with a tool as you can see our heated bed cooled down to 30 celsius degree and what I'm going to do is to try to remove this half sphere object which is hard to grasp first with my hand and then with our tool so so right now I'm going to try to remove, oh, look at it, it just popped out. I didn't get any hard times to remove this one. When glass bed cooled down to 30 celsius degree, I was able to remove this with the one gentle touch. Let's move on to next experiment. Right now our 3D printer Anet A8 has just finished 3D printing the same shape but this time on top of a painter's tape. And we will see how hard or easy to remove this one when the temperature of the heated bed cools down to 30 celsius degree. Right now our heated bed cooled down to 30 celsius degree and let me try to remove it by hand first and then with a tool. Okay, I'm trying with my hand. It's pretty solid. I'm using force. Nails. It's hard to remove this one from the painter's tape. Okay, let's remove it with our tool. So I'm going to try to go under it. Yep, and okay. Okay, <laughs> this is a story with the painter's tape basically. How we are going to remove the tape from the bottom as you can see 
tape is destroyed it's always disposable but you know it's really hard to remove the tape from the bottom of it it basically destroyed my print as you can see this one's pretty bad look at this painter's tape failed right now our anycubic i3 mega has just finished 3d printing this half sphere on top of the ultra base surface which we have just installed so basically i will show you how easy or hard to remove this one from the surface of ultra base when the temperature of this heated bed cools down to 30 celsius degree to keep our experiments fair to each other okay as of now our ultra base plate cooled down to 30 celsius degree and let us try to remove this object from the ultra base okay first i'm going to go with my hand oh it's already detached so basically i didn't use any force i just got there and pick it up from the surface it was really really nice and easy to remove it and as you can see the bottom part is pretty nice and the object is successfully removed from the surface as a conclusion we have two winners first one is recently released ultra base and the second winner is a three millimeter thick glass plate when heated bed cooled down to 30 celsius degree both objects on these plates popped out and i didn't put any effort to remove them however my favorite is the recently released ultra base plate because you don't need any clips to attach it it has its own sticky bag and it is relatively scratch proof compared to the glass and according to its manufacturer there are two layers of coating on its surface on the top there is a polymer based material and its main purpose is to protect the base from too much of a thermal shock while the underneath there is an inorganic rich coating which provides excellent adhesion to the filament basically this is how ultra base works also you can clean ultra base easily with the alcohol soaked tissue last but not least it looks pretty cool rather than using a glass in terms of the price range you can purchase the ultra base for 23 dollars and the 3 mm glass plate for 11 dollars on amazon decision is yours pick one of those and be happy with your printed objects i provide all the purchase links for ultra base and the glass plate in the description below of this video and if you also would like to purchase one of the 3D printers that I use, Anycubic i3 Mega or Anet A8, I also put purchase links for those 3D printers as well, along with the colorful filaments that I used throughout the video. I hope you guys like this video and find it helpful. If so, please hit the like button and don't forget to share my video. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to 3D print multicolor objects with any cubic i3 mega to catch up with that video don't forget to subscribe to my channel also by clicking these videos on the screen you can find how to install ultra base into anet a8 and older version of any cubic i3 mega please check those videos out guys and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video